Okay, this is a follow-up tutorial for our similar figures. I want to focus on something called the mid-segment of a triangle. And again, this concept comes from similar triangles within triangles. So I'm going to kind of walk you through what's going on here and then um, work a couple of examples with you. So in this example C right here from your notes, I kind of go through a couple of questions. What do you notice about uh, the two similar triangles in example C? Well, let me show you which two triangles I'm referring to. So we've got this top one, which is got, you know, X as the as this vertical side, three as the horizontal side, and four as that diagonal side. And then the large triangle that it's similar to, which is uh, 2X if you add these two pieces together, uh, 8 if you add these two pieces together, and Y for this horizontal side of the large. So those are kind of the two triangles that I'm looking at. Um, and the thing that I wanted you to notice was the ratio of all the matching parts. So when I match up the parts, uh, assuming that they're all they're similar and the, the sides should be proportional, this right here would be my scale factor. 4 eighths reduces to 1 half. So if you take a look at that, you'll see that the triangle on top is half the size of the large triangle. And that kind of works out if you follow along with me here. X, 2X, 4, 8, 3. And what would our guess for Y be? Six. So then the, the follow up question would be what do you think, which one of these segments do you think is the mid segment? Well, a mid segment is literally a segment in the middle of a triangle or in the middle of a figure. Well, right here would be the mid segment. This horizontal piece of the small triangle and it's parallel according to these markings here, and your eyes probably indicate the same, and it's parallel to that large horizontal side of the big triangle. So when we talk about a mid-segment, it seems to be a corresponding side, and when it's in the middle, it's half the size of the large side that it's parallel to. So characteristics of mid-segments, here we go. Mid-segment is parallel to the corresponding side. So that's 3 is parallel to Y. And then the mid-segment is 1 half the length of the corresponding side. So we pointed out that 3 was half the length of y because the scale factor was 1 half. So that would be 6. Now one thing I do want to point out that I don't want to get missed is if the segments on either side of these points here and here are equal, then that means that that point and that point are midpoints. I just kind of want to reemphasize that one more time. The segments on either side of these endpoints of our mid segment are equal so these endpoints are midpoints of these sides all right so the mid segment connects midpoints the mid segment connects midpoints so what did you notice about the triangles two triangles are similar and the scale factor is one half we emphasized what the mid-segment was. We talked about the characteristics. One more thing I want to point out. End points are midpoints. Okay. So the triangle mid-segment theorem says that if, let me try this one more time, if, a triangle has a mid segment 
then its length is half the length of the corresponding side. I just want to do a couple of examples of mid-segments with you. If you take a look here, these congruent marks indicate that C is the midpoint of XY. These congruent marks indicate that D is the midpoint of ZY. So this right here, CD, must be a mid-segment. So the mid-segment is half the length of the side that it corresponds with. So half of 16 is 8. So this side right here will be 8. If we go the other direction, you can see here that TS is a mid-segment according to the markings here. So it must be half the length of its corresponding side. So 4 times 2 is 8. So AC is 8. So the mid-segment is half the length of the third side or the corresponding side. And the corresponding side is twice as big as the mid-segment. So um, again, multiple examples that we have here. KI would be 10. KJ would be 9. All right, and we can make it more complicated from here, but again, you're still using this idea that the mid-segment is half the length of the corresponding side. I do want to do one of these algebraic ones with you. We'll do number 9 here. QR is the mid-segment, so keep in mind that you need two of the QRs to equal one of the YWs because, again, this is half of this. So 2 times 2x minus 3 is x plus 9. So 4x minus 6 is x plus 9. Subtract x from both sides. 3x minus 6 is 9. Add 6 to both sides. 3x is equal to 15. Divide everything by 3. And x is equal to 5. So that's my answer. If they wanted me to find the length of QR or YW, I would just substitute for X, but they would have to indicate that here. All they said was solve for X, so I get to be done.